and say congratulations on today's win. Thank you. What an incredible performance. Thank you. You just keep breaking and breaking. Tell us what was your goal for today's um, So, a couple weeks ago at the trials, when we were in the finals, I knew that I left some out. I knew I left some left. And I told my coach, I didn't want to feel that feeling again. I told him, we were thinking about not running the meet. I told him, coach, I want to go try again. He told me, okay, if you're going to work, we put in work for two weeks. Came out here, executed the practice. I came out here, executed my race, and showing what I can do. And what I left out at the trials, I still left. And I had a lot left. Oh, so you do you feel that you still have a lot left going into the uh, Yes, ma'am. I feel like I, if I keep training, my coach pushing me to those limits. I think that the sky is the limit. What do you think was the what, what do you think was the problem at the Olympic trials that that kept you from running your best? Um, I don't think it was any problem. I think it was all lessons, different lessons, different lanes. It wasn't really any problems left. I honestly just learned a lot from it. That's why I'm able to run today. Go without those lessons, I wouldn't have been able to go on what I did today. You talked about how you knew you had more left than you have the trials. Did you know you had another almost four full tenths left in you, or was the time this fast still a little bit of a surprise? Um, well, like I said, I had two weeks in between. My coach, he said, he, he upped, increases his game. I increased my game. We put it together, and the time came for itself. I didn't expect 44-2 today. He didn't expect it either. But we've been fighting that practice, so I think that's why it came out to be such a great race. On an effort of 1 to 10, where, where would you rate this? Um, I'll say I gave it everything, so I'll give it a 10. Wow. wow. Quincy, what do you think about the atmosphere here in Florida and in this track and so forth? And um, every time I come here, I run a PR. I love it here in Florida. <laughs> I love the weather. I might tell my mom, let's move down to Florida one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure there's something that Mass Holloway would want to hear. I mean, what time is, what, are you considering that as one of your colleges? Um, I'm considering all colleges. All my options are open. I don't want to limit myself to one college. Anybody can re reach out to me. What are you most looking forward to in Paris? Um, I can't wait to, I hope I'm able to run. That's the goal, so if I can run, I'm willing to give it my all. Well, you're certainly building a great case for being yes, in that pool, so. Thank you, thank when, you. When you first got that call that you made the relay pool, did you hear it from USATF or did you hear it from this guy? I heard it from my coach, you know. He got on the phone, he screamed it out. He, he said, we got bad news. They let you into Paris. So <laughs> now that they let me in, the sky's the limit for Team USA. And I can't wait to run with the guys, my brothers, and show them what I'm capable to do and see what they're able to do as well. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. I wish you all Thank you. So I'm sure you'll be on that.